Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing my friend's laundry closet makeover. So I went ahead and took her small laundry closet space and we completely transformed it into a new space that was a lot more functional and also more aesthetically pleasing. So the first thing that we wanted to do was make sure that the colors we chose were really bright. So we chose to use a lot of white colors, a lot of greenery, and then we also painted a few things to make them the dark brown color that you're seeing here. And that way it would give the space a little bit of contrast and just that nice little pop that it needs. Next we used some shelves that we got from Ikea and we had painted those white as well and we just had her husband hang these up on the wall really easily with some anchors and screws. And then after that we had him add a shelf onto the wall that was also painted white and this is similar to the one that my husband made in our laundry room. If you haven't seen that video I will link it up above but basically it's just a piece of board that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's and then cut it down to size to fit your space and then you just put some wooden brackets up on the wall and then screw those in into some studs and then secure your board on top of that. And the reason for adding this extra shelf is to give a lot more useful space down low where it's a lot easier to reach and you can also decorate this little shelf making this space somewhere that you actually enjoy coming into. Once we had the shelves put in place, I just went ahead into the laundry closet and started pulling everything out so that we could start out with a new clean space. And then next we just needed to wipe everything down. So I'm just using my Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaner. I do have a link down below in the description box if you wanna check that out and get some free goodies when you order from Grove Collaborative. That is where I get almost all of my cleaners. So I will just have that link down in the description box if you want to check it out. Everything is looking pretty good in here so far. I feel like we've added a lot of extra space in here just by adding the side shelves and this large shelf across the back. However, I felt that the built-in shelves that they already had in here just did not look quite right when it was painted the same color as the wall. I felt like it didn't pop at all and so we decided to go ahead and just paint this the bright white to match the rest of the shelves. And as you can see, we didn't take the time to tape everything off, but this is a really quick hack that I've used in the past. You just take one of the flyers that you get in the mail with that cardstock paper, you can actually just push that up to the wall and then just paint along the wall that way. And it actually does pretty amazing keeping the paint from getting onto your wall. Then once we were done painting and we had let that paint dry, I started bringing some decor pieces in. And the first thing that I wanted to incorporate into this laundry closet was this beautiful laundry sign that my friend made. This is the same kind that she actually made for my laundry closet and my pantry sign. I will leave it linked down below if you guys are interested in getting one too. But the easiest way that I have found to put anything up on your wall like this that's not crazy heavy or if it's not going to be bearing a lot of weight is just to go ahead and use Velcro command strips. These are my go-to for almost everything that is on my wall in my house. And then after that we just started bringing everything else into the laundry closet that I had picked up and gathered to incorporate into this space. A lot of things in here I actually found at Walmart and then a few things I found at Hobby Lobby and then a few other things I actually just had around my house. So anytime I start decorating a practical space, I want to include practical solutions into that space. But at the same time, I also want to make them aesthetically pleasing. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of the things that I used in this space to go ahead and do that. 
So as you can see, I've put the boxes up in this little shelf and the point of using these closed off dark brown boxes is to put things that don't look very aesthetically pleasing but that you still need in your laundry space. So anytime you have something that doesn't look nice, it's nice to put it into a bin that looks nice on the outside and that doesn't have openings so that you can't really see what's put inside. And then on the shelf, I just wanted to include a big picture that she would be able to put her laundry detergent in along with two other glass bottles that she can put the two other types of detergent that she also uses in there. And that will keep this space both functional and also continuing to look clean and pretty to look at. Up top, we put in these wire baskets. I actually found these ones at Walmart and I thought these would be really great so that she would be able to see what was in these baskets. So she's going to be putting extra things like toilet paper and paper towels and then also some of her wax melts and vacuum attachments. Just some things that she really likes to keep in her laundry room but that she doesn't access all the time. So that's why it wasn't a big deal to go ahead and put this up high and out of the way but still conveniently located in an easy basket to pull down as she needed it. So as you can see, a lot of these things on the shelf are actually just really pretty to look at, but a few of them are very practical. So of course you have the items that are going to be holding the laundry detergent. And then off to the right in the very corner is just a little container that we are going to be adding some dryer sheets into. And then that little flower pot in the center area is actually going to be doubling as a trash can so that she can go ahead and just move the lint from her dryer into that flower pot. It's a really great option because of course, one, it looks very aesthetically pleasing, but two, it is also serving a practical purpose and that way she doesn't have to bring the dryer lint all the way into the kitchen because she doesn't have room for an actual garbage can in there. So now that we have gone through the laundry closet and just put everything in place and just kind of seeing where we are going to place each item, we've pulled all the containers out and we are starting to fill them up with the items that she needs to store in her laundry closet. So as you can see, we are including wax warmers in here. We are putting extra paper towels and toilet paper. We are taking dryer sheets out of the box and putting them into a cute little container. And then we will move on to the liquids and start putting them in their glass jars as well. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. So she actually did end up labeling these glass jars. She is also the person who makes my pantry labels. So she went ahead and added some labels onto these glass jars so she knew which one was what afterwards. But just for this video, we didn't end up having time to make those. So at this time they didn't have labels on them, but just know that now they do. Next, once everything had been put into the correct containers, the last thing for us to do was just go ahead and put everything back into the laundry closet and make sure that everything works good and is practical for her to use and keep this space working well for her. We decided to go ahead and add a few of her extra Mrs. Myers products onto these little spice racks from Ikea because before this she actually just had all of these stuck under her sink and we thought because these are so pretty they are really nice to actually go ahead and display in here. And then on the other shelf we included a few floral pieces along with her extra cleaners just to keep it looking aesthetically pleasing.
So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you some new inspiration. If you have a small laundry space or if you have a laundry closet and you feel like you really can't do a whole lot with it, I know that these smaller spaces can be a little bit challenging to deal with, but I just wanted to make this video and show you guys that you really do have so many options and you can make a really small space that does not seem inviting, that does not seem like it has a lot of options and you can make that space completely functional, just as functional as a full size laundry room. And you can also make it a space that you really enjoy going into and just looking at. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head over to Instagram and follow me over there and I will see you guys in my next one. Together.